Hello mga kaleki, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your friend, Leki Louie. In this video, I will share about poor portable low insulation alarm that I had encounter and how I managed to rectify it. The low insulation alarm is one of the common problem you will encounter on board. There has three low insulation alarm monitor fitted on board. The poor portable low insulation monitor, the 220 volts low insulation monitor, and the 24 volts low insulation monitor which is for me is the hardest low insulation alarm to be rectified. As you can see, the earth lamp for negative indication is blinking and the positive lamp is become brighter, meaning the negative line of 24 volts is grounded. The normal operation is both indication lamps are have same intensity. But we will discuss that in other video. But today, we will focus on the poor portable low insulation alarm and how to find its root cause. The normal insulation tolerable limits is 1 kilo ohms per volt. For bulk cargo ships like where I am currently on board has poor portable power source. So by this simple formula, we can calculate how much the tolerable insulation limit is. Insulation resistance is equal to KB plus 1 mega ohms. So 0 0.4 40 volts plus 1 is equal to 1.44 mega ohms or let's say 1.5 mega ohms. So for bulk carrier, the tolerable limit is 1.5 mega ohms. For a huge container ship which has 3.3 kV power source, the insulation tolerable limit is 3.3 plus 1 is equal to 4.3 mega ohms. But of course, the higher mega ohms value means higher insulation level. Generally, low insulation alarm is not an easy task. It is essential that you are familiar with all machineries on board and have a good understanding how to interpret electrical diagram. The low insulation alarm or earth fault is due to a break in the insulation allowing the conductor touch the hull or earthed metal enclosure. Regulation required that earth fault monitor fitted to the main switchboard to indicate the presence of an earth fault or low insulation on its isolated section of distribution system which is the poor portable volts to 20 volts in the 24 volts distribution panel. Low insulation monitor is either a set of indication lamps or an insulation monitor instrument or volt. The most common and simple method to find the source of low insulation is to switch off the supply breaker one at a time and check if the low insulation monitor change its value. By this method, you can easily identify which circuit has a low insulation. But remember, be very careful when shutting down breakers during tracing of a low insulation alarm. Some supply breakers are not possible to switch off like the like for the fuel pump supplying the generator or main engine which can cause a blackout or shutting down the main engine when running. Did you notice that when I switch off the supply breaker BWT1, lamp drive cabinet 2, the 440 volts low insulation alarm disappear? Meaning, the alarm is coming from the loads of this supply breaker.
This is the electrical cabinet that the power supply is from BWT1 LDC2. From here, we need to switch off the supply breaker one by one to check which load exactly the low insulation alarm is coming from. With the help of my chief engineer, he is the one who will monitor the low insulation panel in the main switchboard and I will energize the supply breaker one by one. Sir, inan ko na yung power dito, sir. Okay, let's see. Wala pang alarm, sir, no? Wala pa, wala pa, wala pa. Okay, sir, i-on ko pala yung isa-isang breaker, sir. Tapos tawag lang, sir, pag may mag-alarm. Now we already found out that the low insulation alarm is from breaker Q103, but we are not yet done. By looking at this electrical diagram, this Q103 breaker has a load of 2 lamp power supply unit or LPS. We need to check which of these two LPS has earth fault. By disconnecting the supply connector one by one, we can easily pinpoint which of these two unit has low insulation.
this lamp power supply gives power for our UV lamp pitted inside the UV reactor of our ship's ballast water treatment system. After I confirm that there has no abnormalities in the UV lamp, I am now 100% sure that the 440 volts low insulation alarm is coming from the lamp power supply and not from the UV lamp. After removing the faulty LPS, I bring it in our electrical workshop to carry out some investigation why it has earth fault. But unfortunately, this LPS has full of semiconductor that for me is considered as unrepairable item on board unless send it back to maker. Since we have a spare LPS, I will just replace it to save time and effort. Remember, when changing LPS, you need to check the setting of its dip switch. The dip switch is the addressable setting of each unit. If you are interested how to adjust the dip switch, just comment it down below and next time I will also make some video about Chief's ballast water treatment system on board. After we have traced the source of low insulation alarm, the next step is to rectify. And right after we rectify, the last step is to test and confirm that the low insulation alarm is totally disappeared. So Kaleki, I think we are now done fixing the problem in our 440 volts low insulation monitoring. If you have some comments or any ideas how to fix this kind of alarm, please share it in the comment section below. So once again, this is your friend Lucky Louie. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.